Everybody, it's Escape to Reality with Ooh. Justine and Geneva. What up? We're here. Oh man, oh, we're talking uh, Bravo this week as well as our new show, uh, Double Shot at Love, with our boy Polly D. Oh and my me. god, I think it's gonna be good. <laughs> it is really good so, already. I love it. I think they have good casting. The chicks are like just the right amount of trash. It's fun. It's going to be enjoyable, yeah. I think so, too. Yeah. And Pauly D is just, like, the sweetest little soul. He is everything. When he was, like, talking about his daughter to one of the chicks, he literally was, like, glowing. I was just like, you are so precious. <sighs> I want to see what that girl, the kid looks like. I bet she's so cute. I know. He really keeps her tight know, to the vest, right? Good for him. Um, Who would have thought joining Jersey Shore and he would become what he's become, and, like, so quietly, too? And just, like, I... G- I hope he's being smart with his money because he's making. Like, oh, I think he is. Money. I think he's really smart, and because uh, mm, look what he's doing. Really smart, but I, I hope he's surrounded he's... by smart people. I, I, for what he's formed his career into, yeah. no, he can't definitely. be dumb. You know, no, yeah, or he has the right people around him that are helping him through it. But he's not out getting scary. cracked out. He's not no. like Ronnie. No, nope. he, you know, yeah. Yeah, good for him. Um, God, but he's for so Bravo, cute. Oh, he's gonna die of skin cancer, but he's cute. Well, <laughs> yeah. maybe not because he's got that dark skin. But yeah, um, for Bravo, we're gonna talk Vanderpump, Summer House, um, and New York primarily. We um, did not watch the Atlanta <sighs> reunion. Really, we're not reunion goers uh, anymore. Yeah, we're not reunion people. So sorry. They're not I like think- they used to be. Well, I think also the issue is now you know everything that's happened, like on social media and shit. So it's like. It's not as thrilling to like catch up with them because you already know, you know. They're just like, yeah. There's no spark left, right? Um, and Beverly Hills, we're gonna primarily skip because it fucking sucks. But we'll talk a little <laughs> bit. I, I didn't know there's a boycott. Oh, people are boycotting. I'm less. So me too. Join they me are. In. They're boycotting the show. Um, and then they're gonna bring us back. Real Housewives of OC with. The I'm worst not, cast. I'm not it just watching. Sucks. It. I'm yeah. telling you right now, we're not. We're I wish not they. <laughs> I wish they. I'll no. watch the first episode. We don't have to talk about it, but yeah, it's horrible. Um, but as always, before we dive in um, to the fray of the shows of the week, we're gonna do a little celebrity gossip. What do we get? Oh my god, what do you think? Number one, <laughs> your girl. How happy are you? Oh my god, I love it. Wendy Williams divorcing Kevin Hunter. Goodbye, sucker. He now he's stuck living in. He's gonna be. Oh God! I hope she get. I hope he's she gonna just, get. He's gonna get her for like half her money. I, I know he is. God. Charlemagne was talking about it this morning on. Oh, I was um, looking yesterday to see if he had known already. What yeah, did he say this morning? So he was like, "Good for Wendy. She needs to get out." Like he was acting like it was something to celebrate, and everybody was like, oh, "Well, you know, they've been together a long time." And it's no, sad. And he's like. No, absolutely. Like, you know, call yourself who you are, Wendy Williams. Get rid of that. You never call yourself Mrs. Hunter. Don't say that shit. Like, he was pumped. Oh, my God. I can't wait to yeah. listen to it after. Yeah. <gasps> Good for him. I would so love them to get back yeah, together. Maybe they'll make up and, like, she'll come on the breakfast club. He was all about that psychopath. And I guess the whole cast, the whole staff is happy, too. They never thought it would happen. I know. It's great. Um, I wonder what f- was the final straw because a month ago it's she gotta was... Be, it's got to be the, the kid, right? It has to be. Yeah. There's pictures of him like carrying groceries in with her and she's obviously got like a post-baby pooch where, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. it hasn't gone away yet. Yeah, I mean, I think this is going to be a long divorce, so I'm sure the drama is just starting. And poor Wendy had such a hard time having a baby. She had like four miscarriages and then mm-hmm. this broad just pops one out. It's heartbreaking. Ugh. Sad. Well, good for. I hope she. I hope she sticks to her guns and really goes through with it. Cause, oh, it's happening. I think. And yeah. she said she uh, gave him divorce papers at the studio. Supposedly. Nice. Oh, imagine that work environment. <laughs> oh, he scares uh, me though. But we'll see. I wonder what will happen. They have that, that. They have one of the scariest looking dogs too. It's like a cane corso with the pink eyes oh, and everything. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> no, I don't like those dogs. It's like really scary looking. Okay. All right. I'm online. I have a fascination on Instagram right now with Jennifer Gardner's Garner, her mm-hmm. Instagram page. Have you ever peeked into her? Yeah, yeah. I follow her. She's so sweet. She's like, 
American apple pie to me or something. Right? Making her family like this homemade oatmeal with yeah, apples. So she's, and... Yeah, she's into cooking all of a sudden. So Ina Garden, who's like on the Food Network, who's a chef I like a lot, um, her and Ina are friends. So she's been on Ina's show and like cooks some. She's just like a very, she Give seems like a very nice person. Give this chick a cooking show. I'll yeah. watch that. I'd watch that too. I, it just baffles me that. You'd think someone like her would be married at 18, have this sweet... And she, so she, she's already got two marriages, maybe only two, right, under her belt. Yeah. Marries yeah. this Ben Affleck, who's a drunk, card-counting <laughs> con man. Right. And how can... How does that happen? I know. She does seem just so sweet. Maybe she's a psycho on the private... I know. You wonder, one right? One. What's, the, uh, what's the side... What's this other side of her? Yeah. It's really fascinating because if she was married to like, uh, she's married. The other guy seems more normal. Uh, yeah, Scott. yeah, What's Foley, maybe? Foley. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and then he was on Scandal, which I liked him on Scandal, but yeah, she's really a fascinating bird. I I do find her fascinating. Um, yeah. um, we have to talk about the Beyonce documentary that's coming oh, out next week. Yes. I'm so pumped. I just I can't even uh, wait. I loved your Instagram post <laughs> or just, your story. Yeah. Like that's your Super Bowl with the, the Game, oh, of, Game Thrones of Thrones too. And, I love and it. Beyonce, it's hilarious. Like the, this is the best week of television. What day ever. does that drop on there? It drops on Wednesday at like Ooh. three AM. So I'm gonna wow. watch it on Wednesday, but I'm gonna watch it Thursday. Um I love all the Instagram or all the people like they were trying to figure out I didn't realize that they had put out like a a teaser of like who is it and oh people it knew Beyonce. immediately they, all they saw was the font and people like all these fan pages i follow like knew immediately that it was beyond wow um i Incredible. just love the blue ivy is literally in the front row leading them in choreography that was oh just she's so cute amazing it's gonna be Imagine, fantastic. that's your mom could you just i know incredible I mean, yeah so you gotta watch it because we're definitely gonna. oh i it. will i'll watch that for sure um, and Game of Thrones this week for all my as Game of Thrones as fans out poor there. Poor little Blue Ivy's not lost in plain sight. I'm right there for it. Yeah, she'll be she'll be around. Oh, all right, and then we have to talk about uh, Kim Kardashian's. Uh, oh yes. Questions. One thing I'm really excited about though is I just read the Ariana Grande. I was an in sync goer. I got my. I think I got my. No, it wasn't my first period, but I remember I got my period at an sync concert and I had to run around. It was so gross. Sorry, everybody. But I remember that. that. And they're going to be performing in sync, the whole group with Ariana Grande at Coachella. Nice. That's something I'd like to see. That'd be good. I hope that they, I would go see them in concert. I'd even see Backstreet Boys just for the hell of it, even though I wasn't really a Backstreet Boys goer. Would you? Yeah. Um... If someone gave me tickets, yeah, yeah I would have to spend free. an arm and a leg. Yeah. Yes. Did you like NSYNC at all? Um, yeah, I was I was NSYNC over Backstreet Boys, I think, for sure. Who was your NSYNCer? I mean, Justin Timberlake, for sure. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, God. I was listening. I Googled that McDonald's CD, and I was listening <laughs> to the songs, and it really brought me back. You and that CD. <laughs> Uh, um okay to kim oh my yeah. god okay so these are my thoughts about all right so kim was on the cover of vogue a few things one she's studying being an attorney if she passes the fucking california bar which has one of the hardest pass rates in the country and no doesn't way. go to law school somebody was paid that's all i'm gonna say there's no way there's no way that. she don't have enough time for this shit like, come on okay no. so that i thought was ridiculous people have to use that people have to spend what? Where's the respect for the education you're supposed to have to be a fucking lawyer? You're not. 50, like, people spend like a full time job studying for that. Um, I've had multiple friends in law school and watched them study for the bar and survive law school, and that's no joke. It's literally yeah. like takes a toll on your soul. So like, no, that's I crazy. Just can't. Um, but the okay, so the seventy three questions. Her house is just. It, it looks Stupid. like an insane asylum. It's it so does. dumb. <laughs> yes, there's, it does. There's no color. These poor children are being raised in a white environment with like nothing. It's like, why have money if you're not going to have anything in your house? It doesn't make any sense to me. When they walked into that where they claimed that they sleep on this bed and there's <laughs> yes. it's just a bed and there's nothing else. <laughs> nothing. That's what I'm saying. It's literally like an insane asylum. Like you would put somebody in there that you wouldn't want to self-harm. And these kids. Yeah. And these kids. Kids get dirty and kids have a bunch of crap. Where is the whole garage full of every? Yes, there is a room full of stuff. Is there? And they get buckets. They get, they probably get 
boxes of shit for free every day that show up at her house. They probably where's it all go <laughs> that people come take it. They must have like a base. They have another like, house. The they have another to, house. This is their the show have, house. Where yeah, the where the kids live. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for I sure. Mean, and you can't have kids in a house like that. No, I mean it. Just I, uh, and just the way like Kanye is. I just all of it made me very uncomfortable. And I just he like, answers the door and she's like, "Yeah, we're barely ever home together." It's I like, know. It's like, what does that? What kind of life is that? What are you talking about? I just the house. And Terrible. they're like, what do you think you're going to be known for? I wish you had a self sense of humor or self-awareness and was like, probably for having sex on a on video and making my f- famous, my f- family famous. If she'd said that, I would, I would start to, you know, have some. And why do they need four kids? Like, that's not necessary. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like, you don't. You, you have three. Fine. He, it's a lot. There's three enough. is a lot. Yeah. I like, mean, God, it's crazy. Every six months, Kanye loses his shit. Like, you really just want to keep procreating? I don't understand. They, they're they cute kids, but I, I mean, and they do Whatever. seem loved, but it's just crazy. North seems like the biggest. I, <laughs> I don't want to say this about a child, so I'm not going to finish my sentence. North but she is, seems like a difficult child. I'll, when I'll she, yeah, I can't imagine what she's demanding. Oh, and then uh, I love that they are conning Sprite out of her, but they... Just the kitchen with the um, with, like a, with the kitchen. What's it the called? The uh, the island. I, it's like the size of my house. I know. It's like nobody needs it. Just it's all it's it's both obscene and ridiculous at the same time. Like it's no one fake. needs as much. Uh, there, yeah. no one has nothing in their house like that. You gather <laughs> and, stuff. And they were like, "Who who's the inspiration for the design?" And she like named some designer and Kanye. I'm like, "What design? There's no design. If the design is paint everything white, yeah, design. like some guy named Axel, like." And I'm then sure Hank and Kanye, guy. it's like, Shut up. oh my god! I just can't. I just and then like, that ugh. the outfit and the and the long hallways that look like it just goes on forever. <laughs> that you'd be scared. You'd be scared yes. to be in this house you'd at be night. Terrified as a child to be in that house. It's like, an adult. Terrified. And and the windows are just blasted and people are staring. Jeez, it's crazy. It, it doesn't make sense. No, it makes no sense. It's like it's they like, have a whole wing and then there's one room that they live in and they don't show you. Maybe. I don't know, though. I think that's the vibe. Just the oh. creepy, clear. She just nature. goes along and then the it's a bleached piano and she just goes oh, yeah. along with it An all. unbleached Steinway. That's oh. why I turned it off. I was like, okay, I've had enough. I can't do this. And then like, they call... You think it's cool to have an unpainted piano? Oh. Like Steinways are literally the nicest piano. Those are like hundreds of thousands of dollars if you want a, a new Steinway. So like you get one that's unfinished because you think that's cool for fucking what? I don't know. It's because like... Kanye played piano? Uh, probably. I don't know. God. There's just so it. I only watch oh, it once. It's not fascinating to keep watching because no, they're I it just make it, it kills it. I, you. I but it. like, how can not one kid spill grape juice? It just doesn't make sense. No, it's not a livable. Space it's not for livable. No, no. Not at all. maybe for two single people with no children. But then you get um, drunk in that do house. Do you remember one time. the movie? Uh, Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase. Yes. And do you remember the uh, Elaine? Yes. And, like, yeah. Uh-huh. They live yeah, next door yeah, in that like, yeah. very stark, weird house. Like, I feel like that would be like Kanye and Kim. Like, if they <laughs> lived alone, it's like it would be fine if you were this weird couple who just like chose to like be alone in this creepy house. You have children. It makes no sense. God. I don't get it. Ugh, you got anything Saint. else on the celeb? Gossip no, that's it. Uh, I have watched the first couple episodes of Veep. It is. Oh, it's it is great. good. I got like a yeah. You really have to pay attention because like the you the do. dialogue is so witty. You know, like it really you, is. It's just great. It's incredible. She's one of the. She's just nuts. Oh, she's so good. She's fantastic. Okay. All right. Well, let's dive into Bravo. Um, before we do, as always, please follow us on Twitter at Escape Two Pod and on Instagram at Escape to Rally Podcast and write us a review on Apple Podcasts. Get out your phone. Click on the purple app. Give us some stars. Write us a review. We love hearing from you guys, um, as always. All right. You want to start with Vanderpump? Yeah, let's do it. Um, they're back in Mexico. That was a sick rooftop pool that uh, Lala and Sheena were at. It was beautiful. Was the rest of the group coming or no? 
I guess I feel like you know what I feel like it was. They woke up at like seven a.m. or like let's go have a mimosa at the pool. And then they said they got the whole thing for just to themselves. I thought the whole I thought there was gonna be like a whole scene there, but it never happened, right. right? No, it didn't. A nice pool. Um, it is nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was a nice hotel that they were at. That was very nice. freaking awesome. However, like if I'm gonna stay in a tropical location, I want to be in walking distance to the beach. Like I don't really see the appeal of being up on a hill. You know, like they're pretty far away, huh? Yeah, like they, Did were they have a to drive take away. a. Were they? They had to drive yeah, the skinny dip for sure. Um, uh, Lala doesn't know where her panic attacks are coming from. It was sad that uh, yeah, Lala with the dad, and she's like saying how he's not going to be around. She thinks of all the life events. It is sad. Yeah, I mean, but it also is like maybe for feeling severe anxiety, maybe just stay in your room and like order room service. Not have everybody rub you in... right at dinner. Like that's very awkward. Get the go home and hit, get your baby bottle out. She travel with those the baby bottles just she so has to. bizarre. I know. Um, the next morning after Stassi and Bo's <laughs> fight, uh, poor little Bo looks traumatized. Oh my like, god, I can't <laughs> handle this anymore. I know. I really can't either. He's like, you can't keep doing this to me. I really like Stassi needs to be in therapy. Like 100%. she does. She needs to work through her issues because he's like, <laughs> she's not gonna know. change. I mean, she might calm down a little bit, but she's always going to be drunk and saying. Well, yeah. And it's just like, I f- really feel for him because he honestly has done nothing wrong ever. He hasn't even like been a dick to her. He's like literally crying. <laughs> like, it's, And he's sad. got real hives on his body oh, from yeah, the that stress was, yeah, of their the relationship. Oh, my God. That's real like says. broken out on his. Fr- <laughs> that's what this note says. Real broken out. Like, oh, Jesus. this is not healthy. And I thought no. that their relationship was easy peasy. You I don't know. just have hives from someone. No, you really that don't. That takes that's a so lot. Sad. What's his mom got to say about this? I wonder. Yeah, the therapist. She's got to have some thoughts, right? I mean, ridiculous. I thought it was insanity. Yeah. Um, she, how she's got to get it together. She really does. How about um Adam showing Lisa the photo Sheena sent of her like posing with the uh What a knife. scumbag. And, and I loved I loved Lisa. Most men know what to say to that. And <laughs> um he's worried she's gonna get too attached, which is like no shit. That's uh literally He's what she such does. a jerk. I mean, I get it. Then don't be with poor Sheena, don't just use her. I I, mean, I can understand it, but I just feel bad for people. It's just Yeah. To okay. publicly sh- I don't know. And then he comes to it and runs over and bangs her when she gets home. Guys just suck. I know, right? Such skeeves. Yeah. Um, and then she's like showing him roll on the thing and he had to quit having well, sex. At saying, least he like, put his underwear on, I guess. That's, I that's also scary. creepy. Like, like, Sheena, why are you like, there's something p- so pathetic about that. Like, no, it's true. You know? yeah, she it's is. Like, she is. Yeah. Um, it's just sad that he's oh. just going to screw her till something better comes along. Oh, really? 100%. Oh, also, how about Sheena? Um, they showed the footage of, like, Kristen and Ariana making out. And then Sheena was like, <laughs> I mean, I give Lala so much. Or, or Lala making out with people. And she's like, and, like, I give her so much. You know, I'm there for her in a panic attack. And, like, she doesn't even make out with me. I was like, wait, I'm sorry. Are you she offended? was bummed that she wasn't getting made out with. <laughs> what? Oh, Kristen and Ariana making out is too far for me. That was like that's what I'm saying. These these connections between all these people is like next level. How are you literally making out with your guy's ex girlfriend that they were together for like five years after everything that went down? It's crazy. It's insane. Um, yeah, I don't know what else happened. Oh, <laughs> what do you think about Schwartz and Katie's sexy scene? That's so. It's so sickening. I, I, I mean, there's no sexual tension between them no. at all. There's literally like I get no sexual vibe from them either. Such them. brother like, sister, yeah. Yes. Force yourselves to have sex. They're forcing it. They're forcing themselves to have sex. I don't even want to. I mean, also, where do you get all that candy? I was just like so much candy. It's too much. Yeah, yes. and your girlfriend says she's fat. Don't give her candy. Right, Have and then he sticks. Snacks. He he sticks the. Uh, she's not fat. When she was naked, no. she it's her clothing choices because she's very. Slim. She does a she does a lot of like draping. Yes, like tent stuff. Which she needs to dress tighter. Some, she yeah, is, exactly. She's you got a nice bod. body. She was I running. I was staring at her out of all the girls because I want to see. She was toned. Yeah. No. 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 She. It's. I guarantee. It's a hundred percent the way she dresses. Like, but I love how he he puts the. Uh, the person in the shower 
And then yeah. his code word is meow. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. It's like, who is this person? Where'd they find a violin player at this hotel? It's like, what the hell? And I wonder if the violinist knew who they are, but it didn't seem like she did, right? She had no idea why she was there. She was like, why am I in a shower? Why am I, <laughs> why am I doing anything? And then he's like, I got you all your favorite stuff, Katie. And she's like, well, most of it. It's like, what does that I mean, know. most of it? She's just, their relationship is so bizarre. God. Sh- Sandoval would be happy. He'd be grateful. Yeah, he would. Yeah, Sandoval would love it. Now, did they have sex? God, I don't know. I'm so forced. Didn't. It's very forced. It was very awkward. Um, And then Kristen, with her boob hanging out, and says that Carter bit it. Yes. I don't know when that was, but I have that written down. <laughs> yes. Just weird. Yeah, very weird. Oh, and then... Just we picturing gotta... them have sex is just... Uh, we got to talk about the puppy shower. How... <laughs> It's like the greatest, dumbest idea for a party I've ever heard. Oh. And like Raquel, like literally was acting like it was a completely normal thing to have a shower for a dog. Like, I'm honestly shocked that pe- more people in L.A. don't do this dumb shit. But I actually agree. I was kind of like, wow, these like the, everybody's pretty judgmental about this. This must be off the wall. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, I mean, the, I love how Stassi's like the ba- the dog's alive. It's usually before it's born, which is a valid point. But yes. I mean. Well, no, I mean, I don't know, but I guess I, it's just so when, sad. Uh, Raquel just looks like a sad puppy herself. When Raquel was like, why can't we put this past us and just celebrate Graham talking about the dog? <laughs> I was like, I can't deal with this shit. Like this Graham is, like, is a six month old baby. Right. But like literally she was like serious. And like, that's when I was like, oh man, maybe not much is happening in her brain because like she yeah. didn't really seem to understand why people were like, this seems like a dumb idea. Like, Before I was like, well, she's a kinesi. She's trying to study kinesiology maybe she is is smart school but she's not i guess even if Jax is calling her out for being i mean listen there's some people that are academically very intelligent and who are like like street dumb you know yeah they don't have common sense but i mean like not one person was like oh oh a puppy party what a cute everybody was like wait i'm sorry britney didn't fake it (laughs) right in the flyer yeah it was incredible. The it looked flyer. like Bob Ross that? painted it. It looked crazy. <laughs> God, it did. And then uh, when they got in the car and... and uh, he was like, how did it go? He's like, you didn't sell it? You didn't tell them that there'd be tricks and, and cookies and drinks? And She was like, honestly, it didn't go very well. Like, she had no idea why. It was like, what the fuck? Oh, oh my God. She... I do... Poor James. <laughs> It's just part of the show to hate him, I think, at this point, right? Yeah, I mean, I, it's just... Why won't LVP, if he was allowed to DJ at TomTom, Tom, why is he blue-balled or black-balled from blue-balled? Blue balled. Why isn't he black-balled from Sir still? Yeah, I don't know. And, oh, how about, like, Sandoval not leaving Sir and, like, still showing up there for work? It's like, all of this shit is so, like... And what's her face? Um, Ariana just put out a thing to, I think, realityblurb.com saying uh-huh. that he hasn't made any money from Tom Tom and that he's back uh, bartending at Sir. Really? Yeah. Interesting. That money, that they don't make money for in the first year usually, which is bullshit. Things lined up around the block. You yes. should be able to cut him the twenty thousand well, dollar check at least. Well, you know what it is, is that they only have like a five percent stake. So like say it say they are making, I don't know, what's a, what would be right. amazing for a restaurant? Uh I don't know. I don't know, five hundred grand or something? Five percent of that is some amount. I don't know how to do that math. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's his face is check bounce? Do you think that's real? Oh, that was hilarious. I mean, maybe he did switch accounts, but like maybe he should just tell her. Like, what's he hey. switch? And then how long did she have to check for? And who's switching bank accounts? What a pain in the ass! Right? God, I've I've literally lived with Chase. Like I like Chase. Chase is a legit bank, but I lived here for three years without Chase. Like I literally had no branch here just because I liked them and didn't want to switch. So, so oh, you don't have Chase. Well, you, we do now, but they didn't have a branch here, so I was just They didn't like, have a Chase branch in Florida? Isn't that weird? Get um, out of town, really? And they just added it recently, but it was like I just wrote it out cuz I was like, fuck it, I don't want to switch banks. So, <laughs> switching banks is a Wow. Pain That's crazy. Yeah. And yeah. and J- so James has one drink with his dad and she's like calling him a drunk still. What about all these other crackheads you employ? <laughs> what do you really do that bad? 
Hey, you're a James defender. <laughs> you it's have... crazy. It's just, I feel bad for it. He seems deep down inside so sweet how he gets all red and flustered and he apologizes. Like, Billy Lee's cussing an LVP out. If oh, this Billy, is all I'm, real. I'm so over Billy. I'm just like, get it, like, enough. It's like she comes in real hot, and it's like I'm, for no reason. I just like Ugh. she's acting like she's uh, the central cast member. It's like calm down. You're literally like a friend of the show, you know? Yeah, I mean, jeez, the poor I'm girl, seventy five dollars a plate to this stupid uh, engagement dinner. Yeah, it's like a wedding. They're spending a lot of money. Wow. Yeah. And Jack's still with the. Di- the mom what happened between the mom and Jax that your poor mom's mourning the death of her husband right it's weird and you haven't talked to her and so she's lost her son essentially and her husband yeah I don't know what's going on there it's very bizarre so that says a lot about somebody not willing to speak to their mom after the death of a family member like that it's really sad yeah I'd like to know more about that me too any other thoughts on these idiots Raquel not knowing who Charles Manson is oh, is really funny. And you heard as they were driving away, she was like, who's Charles Manson? And James was like, what? <laughs> he don't know either. Yeah. Know. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Summer house. Um, the big thing I took away from this episode is that Carl's going to get played 100%. I think it's hilarious to watch. I think it's the best. Um, also, I have to point out that he has a cracked iPhone. I have this theory about people who... Like if you're if you're rocking a cracked phone, there's like something array in your like something's array in your life. Like you, well, he does have a lot disarray. of disarray. He does, yeah. And and he doesn't have a job, so I somehow I missed that he got fired, and so the summer Fridays were fake. So he was lying, right? Yeah, what a, <laughs> what a liar! Remember, I love like it. last week, you were like, "Have you heard of the summer Friday?" <laughs> <laughs> I think uh. they do call it something, but oh. Paige is just like Paige is playing Carl like a fiddle like she, it's it's so it, I love seeing a chick like Me fully in power over a guy especially somebody like Carl who's like played so many girls like she's fully like just working him. she's a decade it's, younger and she's d- just d- like got him schooling him I love it she's great she's, she's a pro, she should be man. teaching right classes. exactly she knows exactly what she's doing and it's like it's masterful almost. i don't even think you have to be well it, ha- it helps that she's a smoking hot little piece but even if you aren't i think her tactics are incredible they're really admirable i really enjoy how about watching. those pancakes oh my god they're massive they look She's delicious like, also i found him ordering for her on a date like a little aggressive like yes you don't know what she wants i i, I, I mean, don't it's like nice don't but catch me. me in a wrong mood and i'd be like i don't, I don't fucking, fucking want pancakes. this shit you know exactly maybe she wanted a who wants, salad. Who, wants, who wants pancakes at noon on a work day like, <laughs> i know it's like it's like sorry, 75 Carl. degrees out and right she's, you, you don't gotta... have a job but i do and you need pancakes <laughs> at noon I'm i can't go take a nap carl after yeah exactly like, i thought that was like, interesting too i didn't like it in his avocado toast oh god what a douche um <laughs> she'll have pancakes i thought they were gonna all split them i didn't know that was a like designated meal i know right <laughs> <laughs> they look delicious but it's just like yeah it's not a sunday morning hangover and he's no. already down in mimosas before she gets there God, i know it's just like it is it is it's just so i really enjoy watching him like squirm like she showed up and he's like oh you look great is that your work outfit and she's like yeah She's like, you look good, too. He's like, oh, I don't know. I just think like, uh, I threw this on. Like, he's like all nervous. I'm like, I don't know. It's good. It's the best thing I've ever seen. I know. It's and really and uh, it's so opposite because we've seen him be such a douche to the tall twin. Yep. Exactly. Um, how about Danielle? Do you feel like Danielle's a little old to like be fangirling over yes. Taylor Swift? Yeah, I do. Did you also notice how Jordan said he was super jealous that she was going? To <laughs> I Taylor didn't Swift? catch that. Oh yeah, there's another sign for sure uh-huh. because I don't give a f- an f about Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh, I don't either. Like literally, why are you losing your mind over Taylor Swift? You're 30 years old. I like, could see Taylor Swift in the grocery store. I'd be a little excited. You know, I'd text you right away. Be taken pictures but i wouldn't be i would going creep a photo crazy. but i would not lose yeah. my mind i'd be like oh there's i don't even Swift. know if i would say something to her no i wouldn't I'd and like, her mom is her. going up to i know what the her is that does about? is her mom a summer house fan why would you pick danielle <laughs> i don't know probably because she was losing her shit maybe she thought she was <laughs> no I'm not even, never mind <laughs> 
<laughs> but maybe Danielle uh, has just really good karma I mean, she because must supposedly seemed, no, she must have seemed like an insane super fan, and she like took pity. Yeah, on her. yeah, right. I mean, I just I oh, I was interesting. Like you front row, so right. I, I wonder what's going on there. Oh, also, I loved Carl telling his mom that it was the best summer of his life. And it's like, you have no job. and Yes, <laughs> like, I know. That was so sad. And it's all on this poor Paige. I and know. she's just going to... Oh, I love her. Paige's parents did a job well done. She's She's just making yes. out. If that yeah. was my daughter, I'd be so proud of her. I'd watch those episodes be like, I'm so proud of you for being a virgin. <laughs> Is she a virgin? No, I'm just joking. I'm not, I don't oh. know, but she's like not. It's like I know. She doesn't even want to have like, sex, you know. But who, who's, who is just making out like that all the time? Like, right it, it when you're odd. not, when you're not 13, it's like I really. Know. Aren't you? Don't you want to have sex at some right? point? She must. That's what I'm saying. She's just not into him. I don't think. Yeah. Okay. All right. Like, Maybe that's what it is. I liked the end of the episode. Was her last line was literally, "We'll see." <laughs> like I was like, that is so good. <laughs> she's uh, fun to watch. She is. Uh, um yeah Lindsay with this julon i mean that, let's hope oh, that they okay, got so, like restaurants <laughs> packed because the way so she's promoting it julong is um my husband's friend's restaurant and <gasps> oh been- is it that's great what <laughs> yeah and that is there. nuts we've been there and he's like this guy has been working in new york like city nightlife forever he's like a complete hustler and so that is nuts in the first episode uh we texted him and we we're like Ju long's everywhere and he's like oh yeah she's a great pr person so like she's definitely she's like pushing the shit out of that he restaurant. must you be can- so happy that this right. is happening does he know you Lindsay? Can- yeah, 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 he knows her. Yeah, I mean, has he had sex with her? Oh my <laughs> that I god, you gotta find out. But oh my god, we need funny. to get him on the podcast and ask we, some questions. We went to the soft opening of Julong when they opened. Oh my um, god, how are you not telling me this before? <laughs> we were in the city. Well, I mean, it was like it's insane. They mentioned it once, and then this whole episode. That's why she's a master at PR. She, how many times did she say Julong? What like, kind of food 20? is it? Um, it's kind of like Asian fusion. They do sushi and they do like, um, you know, uh, what are those called? Chicken. You know, wow. Like chicken it's g- it, it's got to help. Right. Oh, no, it's brilliant. Think about all the exposure. Think of all the people going to New York. And like, if they haven't been in New York, they're going to be like, let's go to Julon. She said Julon so much. It got annoying. <laughs> I know. A hundred percent. But she's she's so smart. Like, let's go have some food. They're like, mm-hmm. we don't usually eat while we drink. You know, like she she made it happen. Wow. Yeah. Um, That's incredible. Good for your friend. They picked yeah. the right little girl with nice, with yeah. those big Smart. boobs, po- the boob popping out. I can't. It's just, <laughs> it's know. so funny when a fake boob is blurred yes. out because it's so up and everything. Yep. My boob would be, it'd be so long, the blur. Okay. okay. Can you, you know? not? <laughs> it's so long uh, and dro- droopy. Okay. But those big uh, fake boobs, they're just so perky. Yeah. Yeah. She's got Good for going. her. Um. Oh, also the other when they got back, I think this when they got back from that party and like, like, uh, Carl was like talking to Kyle in the kitchen. He's like, so we could like double date (laughs) and like made that like sad, pathetic smile. And like, Kyle was like, this isn't going to go well. (laughs) It's crazy how everybody knows it. She's adorable. They would have the cute. If she was three years older, maybe she'd be They're ready for him. They're a cute couple, like, visually yeah. together. But yeah. I think she deserves better than Carl. Right. Yeah, <laughs> she's going to get... Yeah, when she's, like... She's top quality. She's yeah. Kobe beef. Yeah, 100%. Carl needs to, like, get his life together, get a job. And she's... Carl's made for Lindsay. And Lindsay's jealous because Lindsay's like, I gotta get a uh, page and find out what she's doing because she's going to mm-hmm. hurt Carl. It's like, mm-hmm. who gives a shit? Why don't you mind your own business and just go worry about Julan? Julia. I know that was it was so forced. Um, Don't you go suck. I mean, Carl's I guess that's if you're nice, so worried right? about it's it, like, it's, yeah, nice it's kind friend. of. But you're a girl. Like, let the girl manipulate. You saw him manipulate the other oh, blonde yeah. girl so for a true. whole summer. So like, true. who gives a shit about Carl? He'll be okay. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, Everybody's yeah. acting like Paige is gonna rape him and <laughs> and leave him in the gutter. Like, so what? Let his little heart get broken for once. He deserves it, probably. I agree. He does deserve it. I think. Um, I think Lindsay's yeah. jealous of these young broads. And, oh, I think she is too. Right. The way she's like coming for Hannah with the femme comments all the time. Oh. Also, like I get Hannah's it. Hannah is so mature. I just get it. Hannah did tennis. I just, I've had enough. I just <laughs> the poor thing. Enough. She was on that Taylor Sugar show. She's like, they ask you to. She recaps the episode every week, which is oh, interesting okay. to hear from her uh-huh. standpoint. But she said that 
they make her they like prompt her to talk about it they really set her up to look like a fool <laughs> there's like way too much tennis like no one cares no one cares that much about tennis period let alone you playing tennis no one cares about like what's what's the hot chick uh, maria sharapova like no one even cares about her so like. yeah it's fun to watch kyle i, I like amanda like being friends with the girls because yeah, these girls are nice. actually nice to her yeah. and she's and kyle like holding her purse and everything it's, it's i, nice. I like that yeah, yeah yeah that was fun um, I really like her. I like her style a lot. Amanda's style. Yeah, she's a really cute little thing. Yeah, she is. Good hair, good skin. They're just aesthetically like, just they look. I mean, they could be brother and sister. They're just like so <laughs> really perfect I, looking. Kyle is like much more uh, like white European to me. Yeah. Okay. And what is she? Yeah. She's a little bit different, right? I don't know. She's yeah. more like olive skin tone. Okay. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah um yeah, yeah he is so like sun he was sunburned right yeah right any uh other thoughts on these people uh i just miss the days of like going to a party like that just having just kids like you know, you'll always think always be thinking of something even when i'm 50 you'll probably always uh, you can probably get back to there but you'll yeah. always you always be thinking of something like those 20s ages are just oh they're so priceless. carefree and you don't and I don't think you realize you like, don't. how good you have it. You really don't. Like when you're but out of are, school and you're working. But these people working. are like 35. <laughs> yeah, they've really done it right. Life I know. should extend that far out. I know. It really should because, you know, as soon as it's over, the fucking party's over. And it's it's like, uh, yeah. yeah. I think fun. about like, like. I want to drink the champagne with the little top yep. like them. Oh. Like, yeah. Like when I see photos, like when we were like 25, just like downtown getting absolutely blasted and then hopping in a cab, pounding Mexican food drunk. Like those are great nights. You know? Yes. And they were over so fast. Oh. I couldn't do it now. I'd be fucking thrown. These up. years are dragging on. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, positivity. <laughs> wow. Right. Congratulations to Julon. Yeah. Shout out to Julon. They're doing it. Um. All right. So tell me, or do you have any thoughts on Beverly Hills? Um, I just feel bad for uh, for what's her face? Um, what's her name? Denise Richards. Now, Denise Richards on her reality show, real quick. Mm-hmm. I was thinking she wasn't this captivating before. No, so I wonder she wasn't. why it's all of a sudden she's so charming and like hillbilly is because everybody else is so terrible. Yeah, <laughs> might be. Yeah, maybe you know that's what, what it is. Is like when she was talking to her uh, to Aaron to her husband, she was like, "Is it weird to you that women fight about this shit?" He's like, "It <laughs> really is." <laughs> it's like, yeah, I really, I, th- I know, I agree with you though. I watched that show and it was I don't boring. know. It was yeah, boring, but, but I, I feel like if we had this Denise it. Richards, it was not. Yeah, oh, I would like to see Denise Richards with her real friends. Yes, throw in some Rebecca Romaine Stamos yep. and Jerry O'Connell. That would be fun. I would, or I'd, I would just like to see, yeah, like just normal people. Like, yeah, because I do feel like, even though she's Hollywood, she's surrounded by like a crew. You know? Yeah, she has um, to. Yeah. Uh, do you think Ken was too aggressive with Kyle? He was a little aggressive. I mean, I would never want my husband to get involved like that, period. I know. I wonder what Mauricio thinks. And if you I eaten- would probably turn and get mad at him and be like, shut the fuck up. Why are I, you I know. Involved? I would, too. I'd be like, go sit down. Right. What do you think about those truffles? Have you eaten oh, truffles okay. like that? We actually... So Did I tell you this? Well, two... So I've had two experiences similar to that. One, when we were in Italy... We had the pasta rolled out in the Parmesan wheel, uh-huh. and it was one of the most delicious things ever. Was it? Also, oh, my Ooh. God. Also, we went to this restaurant in Milan that was all truffles, so every course had truffles, like white or black truffles shaved on top of the dish. Now, those were black truffles on their food. Yes. And okay. we had a and what's tiramisu. It taste like? Oh, my God. Truffles, just the most glorious favor. We even had a dessert. We had a tiramisu with truffles on top, which sounds disgusting, but it was amazing. Wow. Um, some of the best service I've ever had at a restaurant. They literally were like coming table side with the truffles and shaving it. It was like, oh my God, it was phenomenal. Truffles Damn. Are phenomenal. Real truffles are like just one of the world's greatest delicacies. I yeah, that, they're sweet. I like their romance, Kyle. Yeah, and- yeah I, I found myself. After that part, I fast forward the rest of the episode. <laughs> oh, the other part I stopped at was uh, Dorit trying to figure out the neutral bullet had no idea how to so dumb use a blender and she's acting like it's gonna jump out and chop I her know. head off so, unplug it she also the other thing that drives me nuts about her other than her ridiculous fashion because i couldn't handle either of those interview looks is the way she says pk she says pk probably every three seconds we know his name 
Like, I don't... Uh, PK. PK. And she's like, so... And I love how PK, he's, like, ready to cry that he's not invited to LVP, LVP's birthday party. He's, like, ready... You know he's yelling at her, like, you fucked it up for me, Dory. You fucked it up. I just... And the other thing that, like, is just everybody just lets slide. And I, from time to time, like, that scene, I was like... This fucking accent she has. No one ever like says anything. Yeah, no. you're from Connecticut. <laughs> like, I don't get it. I don't care that you lived in Italy for a couple of years. It doesn't no. mesh like that. No, it doesn't work that way. You know, I had a friend move to Australia yeah. after college. Uh huh. And she came back. She's been there for like I don't know six or seven years, and she has a full blown Australian accent now, and it's so wild. I can like, see that. But I it's mean, one she's accent, been there. Right? No, 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 yeah, and she's been there for a while, but it's like. To see a person you used to know from California all of a sudden transition have a full blown Australian accent, it's like holy it's shit. Like you're walking around with the Outback yes. taped employee. Mm-hmm. I love calling for a takeout at Outback. Good day, oh. mate. God, I haven't gone to Outback in years. <laughs> I love this. I love. I love the Outback. The, <laughs> the Outback. <laughs> the but, outback uh, and arby's people those are justine's one and two <laughs> so you know what i've been wanting lately is olive garden i've been to oh, olive garden in years yeah sometimes i get take out there i just get well, the you know salad I, and breadsticks is, okay because that's good because i watched this thing i think it was on last week tonight on olive garden and how they um <laughs> how they prepare food and like most of their meals are frozen and they oh just, yeah like, i'm sure up. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's no, it's nothing fresh. Yeah, you just go there and get a heart attack. But right. it's delicious. It is once in a while. But I love those breadsticks. All right, what uh, other uh, thoughts on these? Idiots? The breadsticks are really delicious. Um, and I guess you can buy them raw and cook them at your house, and they'll Where? give you the butter and everything at the store. They offered me that one time. Oh damn! Right? One time at Costco, I bought the Olive Garden salad dressing. That was a mistake. I had like seven bottles of it for like two years, and I just threw it out. <laughs> <laughs> nobody needs that much olive garden dressing no it was good though but um yeah i, I do like kyle and mauricio and him kissing her hand it is sweet if they're really that in love after all these years so yeah yeah all right. that's nice and the lvp party seems so fake oh it seems so fake so fake oh and camille is wrong for saying that about lisa vanderpump's teeth I but missed it. What did she say? She was like, oh, Lisa, something about how Lisa Vanderpump finally got her, her teeth fixed. Oh. Real nasty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Um, let's move on to our favorite ladies, New York. <laughs> We're still in the Berkshires. I like that they made this Berkshires episode like three episodes or at this trip. It's good. I love it. Me too. Do you remember like back of, like over the summer... Or what, what, it must have been the winter time. Yeah, winter, because they're filming the winter around that time. They had all those videos of them, like, yes. laying on the pool table. I think, I think that's, that's I it, think right? The next, yeah, it's the next episode, so I'm excited for that. Um, let's see. So we're, we pick back up at the fish fight. Um, the fish room scares people, and I love how they kick Tinsley out of the Moroccan room. She's into the fish room. Um Oh, the yoga. I have to comment on Luann's moans during the yoga (laughs) session. That was very (laughs) inappropriate. Um, I do love when a yoga instructor gets behind you and pulls you. But when you see it, it seems so sexual. (laughs) Right? Even with a gay man, it seems sexual. Yeah. Um, The most classic, I couldn't even... I was dying when they go to Ventfort Hall, the old Morgan estate. Um, Sonia just starts losing her shit. I... (laughs) Why would they do that to her? I don't know. I just like, but it was fascinating to watch her start spiraling. Like um, Ramona was like, she's, she's in the Morgan zone. She's spiraling. (laughs) I love their friendship that they have really like cuss each other out, but they love each other as like real. Well, I mean, as they were like wandering around the house and like Dorinda touched those letters and like Sonia's like, no one should touch those. Those should be under glass in the Gutenheim. (laughs) It's like, what are you talking about? All the oil and everyone's fingers is going to eventually erode them. It's like, this isn't the queen of England. No one gives a shit about Chase Manhattan bank. Who's been ripping people off left and right. And when she was like, like looking at the, the claw feet of the, see this foot this is a very distinctive foot this is the foot we have in our house it was just like oh my god she was like talking to herself too oh my yeah she transforms into a different person it's really quite fascinating to watch so fascinating 
Oh, that was good. Um, she's so funny. She's really nuts. And I she's, mean, she, she's, she's just really continued. never moved on from him. No, she really hasn't. She's really. This was an all-time classic Sonia episode because. You know, first she like spirals and then when they get to the house and she's like pounding rosé, you know, she told Tinsley to be a truffle pig and find the rosé. <laughs> she's like, I was like, oh my God. And then when like she came back downstairs for dinner and she was like yelling like rosé all day, it was like she didn't stop the chant. Like she just kept going. <laughs> she is, um, she gets drunk in a different She's I mean, on another planet. I love another it. Another one. When they showed the flashback of her with Bethany when she kept trying to make out with Bethany that one time, that was hilarious. And like the way she was this episode, she's like, Bethany's mine. No one touch Bethany. <laughs> like, it was like, what is happening? Uh, I like uh, it though. And Bethany does have a soft spot for her, which is nice. So. Yeah, it is nice. Bethany I mean, is very, she is being really nice to people these days. Like to yeah. Tinsley. Yeah. Doesn't it, it blow is, your mind? It is. It, she was being nice. I mean, but I loved how she came in. She's like, I got my period. What are the chances somebody has a tampon in this cobweb of vaginas? <laughs> I feel like she's classic. said that before. I've heard her say that before. Oh, but... that shit cracks me oh. up. Yeah, because yeah. Tinsley probably is the only one who still has it, right? Yeah, I mean, they're not. None of those women are below 50 other than Tinsley. Wow, Tinsley does seem like a spring chicken. She seems so infantile to me. Like, just like the way she acts is very childlike. Yeah, and it is the way it would go, you know, until I think not not like having I think not not like having children makes you uh, older or whatever than anybody else. But I think if Tinsley were to if she would have had kids and stuff, she would have had to grow up in a different way and they wouldn't Uh, treat her like that. Maybe. But I also feel like she would have been a person who had like a full time nanny. (laughs) Right. Yeah. True. Still lived the exact same life. Also. Uh, I love how she was talking about being the hind, getting the hind tit or whatever. She was really going into detail about that. that oh, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That she's she very like, lovable. She's really grown on me. Yeah, I, I enjoy her. Um, but, oh, and I, but I like how she takes her place and like, she's like, well, I'm just like the kid's sister, so I'll just go get the stuff. I'll be the truffle pick and go get the rosé. Um, <laughs> oh, I love when they were in the, the room, like getting, like, for some reason, getting changed and like, Bethany put on pajamas before changing into an outfit, which I thought was weird. But Ramona, when she was like dancing in the mirror and like grabbing herself, <laughs> you saw that. and they were like, "Oh, Ramona just discovered a mirror." She's like, "I look great. Let's be real." It's like, "Oh, these women, man!" <laughs> like, imagine being sober. Like, if you're Luann trying to be sober around this shit show, how do you even do that? I don't, I don't get it. it seems she see, does look good. Know. Oh, I mean, she looks great. Luann shouldn't be there if she wants to stay sober. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, when they were pouring, when he was coming around pouring the rosé, and they're like, no, 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 to Luann. Then they tried to pour it to Sonia, and Ramona was like, no, 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 no. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't see that. That was good. Oh, and the chef. So, the naked chef, the guy that was with him, do you know that chef, Art Smith? No. That's Oprah's, that was Oprah's favorite chef. So I have no idea why he was there with this guy. Like he's like a legitimate huge chef. He made fried. Ch- he's made Oprah's favorite fried chicken, and wow. he lost like 150 pounds and made like an alternative fried chicken and went back on Oprah and like. So he's like a big deal. So I don't know why he was like chaperoning the naked chef. That was very. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Very weird. Um, and wow, I wow, I didn't them. know that. I don't want a naked chef with a hairy ass cooking my food. Yeah, he was. I mean, no offense. He just he didn't do it for me either. No, but I mean, shouldn't you be clean shaven if you're cooking yes. naked? Like, yes. just your entire body should be clean? And I think that's a shtick nobody needs, right? I don't want it. Yeah. I, what's the appeal? Yeah, right. All these I horny prefer... women, just get some hot men to come eat dinner, like prostitutes with you. A naked waiter I could maybe tolerate? I don't yeah. need a naked chef. Yes, yeah, maybe the waiter when they, and he's really hot, yes. and then they allow you to, like, smack his ass and stuff. Okay, that's assault. <laughs> Oh god! If I'm um, like sixty years old and drunk, I want to smack some ass if it's in my oh, face. I, I already know you're going to. <laughs> you're going to be really perverted. You're going to be the person like with your son's friends <laughs> that you'll you'll be like, let me sit on your lap. Or, like, oh no no no! Yes, no, no, I yeah. Don't. I no, that I won't be sick. I'm not Stifler's mom. 
<laughs> um, speaking of assault, uh, they all acted like... I'll get, on, I'll get on the phone and tell you, like, oh, <laughs> Warner has a really handsome young friend that I shouldn't be left alone with. No, I'm Handsome just young friend? Man, you already sound like a hundred. <laughs> a handsome young chap is here. Um, <sighs> speaking of assault, how about uh, when Sonia picked up the dog and they all thought she was going to, like, rip it in that half? Was that? Was that was hilarious. I don't know. That was hilarious. Her eyes lit up like a psychopath. <laughs> She's so funny. But the way she like pulled it up across her body was very weird. They're like, no, 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 don't touch the dog. It's like, what is she gonna do? Like, I she's just crazy. And was is that Ramona's dog? Yes. <laughs> don't do that to Coco. It's like it wasn't like she stuck her finger up her ass. I don't. Understand. Bethany's like, put the dog down. And then even Luann, she's like, put the dog down with Sonia. Like she's gonna. Uh, Sonia's not a mean person. She's just screwing around. The dog probably loves it. The dog didn't seem upset. It was just like, all right, we're in the air. All right, that's where we are. Oh my god, that, that was, was hilarious. And and Ramona, I'm taking Coco. I love how Ramona goes everywhere with this dog that is not potty trained. I know. That's, if that's not Ramona in a nutshell, I don't know what is. Just like making it everybody's so rude. This, yeah. yeah to have this dog shit everywhere. And she definitely would be checking. Let's she be leaving her house the day of, and the dog poops in the room, and she just walks out and pretends yeah. it's not there and leaves it. <laughs> Isn't that? This was at the Berkshires, right? Where she like completely fucked up that room. That one yeah, time. right. <laughs> God, she's such an asshole. She is. Oh, it's funny. Dorinda has a beautiful pool, though. That yeah, it was beautiful. It's nice for them to like get to go outside. I agree. Like, Gorgeous pool. See. She really is a nice hostess. Like they should give her more credit. Yeah. She's literally like you saw like her fridge is stocked like you're literally at like a mini bar like God, she's all these beverages and someday when I'm rich that's what I want just a stocked fridge full of everything and a pantry beverages, full yeah. of everything you can yep. think of. Yeah. Um. And so the, the episode ends with Sonia completely unraveling over the letters. And she just yells like, don't touch the Morgan letters. You saw people's faces. They were like horrified. Oh, that shit was and, good. And Ramona just ignores it, right? Oh, that was great. Oh, I mean, so they, funny. Oh. And so is the next week where in the preview for the season where Bethany's like, go to bed to Sonia and she falls over. I don't that? know. Okay. I feel like they might know, be somewhere yeah. tropical in a different setting. Okay, or something. good. Well, I'm glad we have another I think one. We, of those oh, I think we have another. Way. I think we got a trip in our forecast with them. Great. But I love. I I don't. <sighs> Barbara, I have issues with Barbara. Me too. Barbara is annoying. She's you know we don't need you. No, she's not needed at all. She's like again. This is a perfect cast. You don't need to add anybody. There's no. There's just no reason for it. And I do feel bad for Bethany. Like, she goes out of her way. She pays for Luann to stay in rehab and Luann leaves. I thought that was <laughs> to go do her cabaret. Oh, that's good. Jeez. It's really nice of her to pay rehab, though. Yeah, it, it really is. It's yeah, good. Um, any other thoughts See, on Bethany is a nice person, I guess. No, no, that's it. It's just uh, such a trip. They're, they're the best. They're really, so fun to watch. It's very enjoyable. Um, and it never gets old to me watching them just be who they are. I love it. Okay. Um, so that'll wrap up Bravo, but we do have to talk about shot at double shot at love. For some reason, I just want to call it shot at love. I know. I, I, I feel like I can't find the exact title of it. I know. Um, so they arrive there in LA. Nice house, I have to say. Um, Vinny rolls in with a photo of his mom. <laughs> Such a freak. And uh, Pauly D rolls in with all his chains and watches. So they're on different pages there. He's nailing them. I didn't know what he was doing. He was like nailing. I thought he was going to put a picture up of his daughter, honestly. And then he's hanging his chains. <laughs> no. Um, so they try to pull a prank and they have two sets of ladies come in at different times and pretend like they're... Um, it was a good the setup. Host. I liked the way that it, it was all done rather than it just being like a free for all. Yeah. No, I thought it was good, too. Um, yeah. I love when they're like, they're, nobody, wa nobody really wants Vinny. No, I know. It's kind of sad. <laughs> they're all like, they're super excited that it was Polly on the first one. And then the second one, they're like, oh, OK. They really pretended really well to make poor little Vinny happy. Um, the MVP girl for me of the first part was definitely the chicken, the leopard. Um, oh, she was Kate, right? <laughs> yes. Oh my God, she was hilarious from Staten Island. Um, I loved Vinny. Like Vinny, literally hates 
chicks from Staten Island with like like the way he said that while he was watching her after she fell into the hot tub. He was like, God, I hate Staten Island girls. Like he really like poor Angelina. <laughs> I know. Uh, she had so much. But Angelina, I could see him and Vinny really being a good match, even though they hate each other. <laughs> He's got to marry someone like his mother. That's the only thing that's going to make him happy. Oh, and maybe 100%. Angelina's not like that, but no, someone's got to be able not. to cook. Yes, a hundred percent. He needs somebody to cook who loves doing he needs like a traditional italian chick he does like and not like one of these like no uh, a, a like, real one yes like he needs maybe he needs to go to italy maybe that's gonna be season two <laughs> yes oh my god that would be good listen up dj right? Polly d yes <gasps> yeah, that would, that would be, be fun um I loved how they just formed the show to them so much. Yes, I wasn't me too. expecting all the. the I just also like everything. that, funny. like the casting is like the chicks are just the right amount of like desperate and skeevy and kind of like they're I don't geared know. towards that yes. whole thing. It was great. It like really reminded me of like Flavor of Love or like one of those old classic like VH1 dating shows. You know, it, just, they like, nailed it. They, they really did. It. I agree. Um, how about the chick who's like the cat person who's like crawling on the floor? <laughs> Somebody was like, "Oh, here comes the gr- what do they say? The grunge or what was that movie? The with the chick with the hair over her face." Oh, um, do you know what I'm talking I about? I don't know. I the didn't... scary movie, The Ring. Like, yes, The Ring. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that movie theater. I don't know what I was doing there. Oh God. Kate sitting on the chair though with her hair sitting to the she was just shit faced oh, right so drunk yeah that's poor the other thing, thing goes I love home about this. they just like feed them with alcohol it's and like, then when she finally when they hear her crying on the front step she's like cabs are here after she walked out it's like yes. so sad, it's sad also I would like to say for the record that we literally. I wonder if they listen to us. We literally said this entire idea. And do you remember? We said, and when they get eliminated, they should go in cabs. We said I don't that. remember saying what? that. <gasps> we got to find it. We literally said that when we were talking about how Polly D needs its own dating show. Wow. So... We're genius. It's great. It's hilarious. I, like I how love you don't it. remember saying that. <laughs> I don't remember anything that comes out of my mouth. But I love how the second time that the girls, when they get eliminated with Vinny, yeah. That one girl's waiting for her and the they don't even get two separate cabs. I, <laughs> uh, I think it's gonna be really entertaining. Um Susie with the high pitched laugh. Oh she's she's cute. I love that Polly likes her. I thought no. that was adorable. That's the laugh of a psycho. Give her three episodes. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna be watching you sleep. I didn't I, like that at all. I love how Mish is that with Mish? She didn't know who Mish. Okay, Mish. She didn't know who they were, and then all of a sudden, like one thing, she's. She, I love everything about Polly. She's already like so bachelored up. She's right. like, I love everything about him. He's perfect. He's what I've been looking for my entire life. Um, <laughs> the other two chicks that I have to comment on: there was a thirty-seven-year-old. Like, why are you on this show? She looked. I would never guess thirty-seven, no. though, right? Insane. And a, and a chick with a sixteen-year-old kid. Damn. Like, come on. This that was not, wild. Not the show. How for old you. was she? They didn't really mention her no. age with that poor thirty-seven year old. Then they kick her off. I felt. But you bad know what? Then. Polly D is. How old's Polly D? He's probably thirty. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I think he's probably in his forties. Do you, you think? think? I want. Uh, let's up. see. But that is incredible. This show. It's hilarious. I just the, so you guys know, both Justine and I think like that. Polly D should be on our bucket list for oh if my we had God. a hall pass. He um, is really, I can't believe how much he's grown on me over the years. Me too. He's 38. Oh, 38. Okay. Wow. Right. Oh, and Vinny is 31. God, he's seven, young. Seven year age difference. Oh huh? my God. He was only like 22 or something on the freaking. Yeah, they're babies. Him and Nicole are the same age. Nicole. That's not wow. Snooky. <laughs> Snooky Nicole. I like how they call her Nicole. But poor Darren. I'm glad Darren didn't get k- kicked off because she was saying. The cat she, lady? Yeah. She, or, or the, the one crawling. Yeah. She said she was a fat kid. She probably would have headed right to Krispy Kreme after the show. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, um, oh, there's a chick from Are You the One? I know you don't. I don't think you watched that, but I did watch that. That um, season. I don't know if I watched that season. I didn't recognize okay. her. Which one was she now? Maria, the one that oh uh, she was Polly on. Likes. Now she looks old to me. I, yeah, I don't think she's old though, but she does have kind of a mature face. I she's like very her pretty. though. She is. Yeah. How'd yeah. they get talking about porn? 
I missed that as well. I don't know. I didn't catch. I like they were talking in code and then he's like, oh, you watch that porn? And she's like, yeah. I was like, damn, I think yeah. you found your match there. Uh, right. ain't Jesus. Um, I think it's going to be a great show. I'm very into it. I think it'll be entertaining. I, I think it's fun. And yeah. uh, I love Ho- Holly, the one, uh, one of the girls in leopard print. She was like so sad. Oh, real Jersey. Holly. Yeah. And uh, I can't. It'll be fun to watch that they. We'll see what they do every week. It'll and be fun chick- to see them bring in the other Jersey Shore yes. cast too. I think it's yeah. It looks like it looks like they're taking them on trips. It, like they're really doing like a bachelor like situation. So I'm I'm I can watch that. I can't watch the, where they make it seem like like the Bachelor is like they're really trying to pretend like this shit is real life. Like, yeah, this is just like this is the right level of ridiculousness for me to participate. It was fun. Yeah, I, I liked it. I liked Are You Smarter Than a Guido better than yes. the DJ girls? But agreed. Yeah, that bee lashes is nice. She like calmed down the poor Mish crying, and then she was taking care of Kate. Now, who's lashes? gonna Who's gonna win? That? Who's your pick? Um, Let me think who my pick would be. Oh, you want to pick it? Uh, I think we have to make a pick after one more episode, right? We all have right, to see them all, right, all together. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. But then let's make a pick. But I have some people in mind. Yeah. I tried to write down all their names, and then I just gave up. So. They do like the same girls, which is hilarious. <laughs> yes. Totally. And I think um, I liked the Jamaican. So the people I liked, I liked the Jamaican chick. I liked B lashes. Um, B lashes. <laughs> She's sweet. I like her. And I, I like the little Susie firecracker with the you high pitch voice. So I oh thought she God. was cute. It's like the type of person that I literally couldn't be around because I would just be like, <laughs> I can't listen to you laugh. Like, just stop. She's crazy. If people thought yeah. you had a dolphin laugh, imagine what they would say about her. Um, I know. Get her on the show. Right. Uh, Nebraska is going to be sent home soon. I don't even know who um, that is. The, or, oh, oh, the girl, the weather girl, the 16-year-old oh, daughter, yeah, blonde yeah, yeah. chick. No, she's, yeah, bye. I think the Shira girl got kicked off, the yes. girl, because she can't cook. Yeah, I mean, you got to be able to cook. You have I mean, to be able New- to cook for you're Vinny. You're from freaking New Orleans, and you don't know how to cook. New Orleans is one of the great food cities in this country, so, like, come on. Okay, how do you not know three Italian desserts? <laughs> right? Have you never eaten in your life? And one Italian girl didn't know four different types of pasta. God. What? I know. What's like, a chooch? A chooch? They're like, I'm the chooch or whatever they they say. Oh, I don't know. I, that's, that's when they asked idea. what make make America guido, great, and when they said what's MAGA stand for, did we already say this? Did I already say this? No. I might be going crazy. And no. they said make America guido again. I thought yeah. that was clever. I really yeah. liked that. But I like how the chick hadn't even heard of the other MAGA. She <laughs> I know. Like, what? <laughs> It's amazing. Some people have this entire life that they like exist on social media, but take in no actual like content or like information. How do you not? It's incredible. It's, like, it's frightening. Um, yeah, I'm here for it. I just I I love. I mean, honestly, I get, Vinny brings nothing to me for the show, but I'll yeah, still watch. Because yeah. of Paulie. hopefully he grows on me every single time. I'm watching him over time. Hopefully, maybe mm. he'll, but. I, I mean, I wouldn't want to be with him. I'm there for Vinny. I'm Holly all the way. I'd be like, okay, I guess I'll go on TV. For, I, uh, you know, you're there for Polly. Oh yeah, yeah, Polly. Sorry, yeah. sorry. No, maybe you're yeah. not. Maybe. No, 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 no. God, I would rather. Uh, yeah, oh, I'd rather good. be with the. Would you rather be with the situation or Vinny? The situation. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. That is a. That's a easy. I mean, the situation for you. today. Like, I just feel like he's a nicer. Like, yeah. He would be easy to control. I feel like he's not very demanding. He just. I can't some... imagine having. I mean, just no, having I mean, sex. Uh, oh. Just straight yeah. sex, right? Either I know. Uh, I know. Paulie just seems like he smells so good. Yes, he clean. clean he's hygiene. so clean. Like he takes yes. a shit and jumps right in the shower. Right. No, they all I will I will give the Jersey people that or the males, I'm sorry, not the females. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, why do Jersey men look so I don't clean? Know. But like they do seem like they really do take care of themselves aesthetically, like way more than I would say California men. If you oh will. yeah. I love them. Um, California people go surfing for 3 days, not shower, consider it like that they're showering. He's definitely not a uh, uh, Tom Schwartz, that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He's not wearing a muumuu. Um, all right. Any other thoughts on those gents? Oh, I thought it was interesting that the girl that got kicked off for looking like Aubrey O'Day knew it. 
when she, she got she 100 percent looked like Aubrey. And then when she got she in probably the got thing, plastic was, surgery and was like, I want to look like Aubrey O'Day. I was pretty clever of her to like put that together, though. I thought, yeah, which is funny because Aubrey O'Day got plastic surgery to look like Aubrey O'Day. Oh so. my god, she does yeah. not look right. No, she doesn't. And I and it makes me sad that I try to x that out that they dated. It, it, yeah, I know because I kind of judge him for that. It doesn't but, seem like that. No, it's a bad pairing. How could that happen? Uh, it's the other show he was on. This this is going to be the right show for them, I think. I'm oh yeah, I'm excited. It's fun. Yep. All right. Any other thoughts, my friend? That's it. All right. Um, we're excited because we only got a couple weeks to go till Nine Day Fiance is back. Um. So you'll be back to two episodes a week from your favorite folks. We'll be back to two. Um, but until then, check us out on all the places. Holler at us and uh, write us a review. Yeah. All right. We'll talk soon. Bye. Uh, bye, guys.